Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, another video coming to you from uh, Founding Fathers uh, Airsoft Channel. Uh, coming to you as Tank. Cobra. Thanks, man. So this is another one of those quick videos of using our daily guns. You know, we love our custom ones and what we pretty much use on a daily basis. What I got here is the KWA SR10. Um, like I said, I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, KWA. I actually have the uh, GMP grenade launcher and actually the custom paint job. As you can see, actually it was my boy Sex Fiend over here. You know, um, it, it was more of a thing that I thought of just, you know, it was a joke, you know. I mean, anybody who really puts a grenade launcher on an airsoft gun, it's more of just, eh, why not? It's it's more of just fun. It's fun. Every time yeah. I've used it, it's pretty much every time I get a kill with it, people are just like, they more just laugh and think it's fun. Um, it is very far from stock. Um, it actually, the original barrel, I'm trying to, I don't actually remember the exact dimensions of it. At this moment, the original barrel only actually came here. We actually put a very extended barrel, so it actually comes at the end of the suppressor. Um, I tried putting a G&G green bucking in it, but for some reason, KWA is very, very finicky on their buckings. Which is good, because you have a nice tight seal on there. Um, yes. So I actually, for some reason, I don't have that mag with me, but I actually prefer the KWA waffle mags. They fit, fit great in the gun, um, the mid caps, like I said. Phenomenal gun. Um, the force will work in a KW. Yes, yes, it will. Um, I wouldn't have my custom attachments. This is more my fast-paced running gun. I did a red dot. Um, my this is my personal. A lot of you, if any of you haven't seen these, I'd highly recommend getting it. Uh, getting one of these. Um, if you're gonna shell out a lot of money on a site for your F stop gun, you see these right here. 12 bucks online, pretty much any airsoft place you can go, even cheaper. Um, my opinion, I've actually, this has saved a couple of my sites more times than I can remember. I've actually spent money on a site before and not had one of those and actually caught a pellet to it and I cracked it and it was pretty much money down the drain. So in my opinion, you spend the 12 bucks. It's, it's well, well worth it. You say it may not happen, but... It could have. Um, for the G uh, GMP grenade launcher, personally, um, I didn't go with the uh, the 120 round grenade. I actually only went with the 18 because, in my opinion, um, the 18 actually has more accuracy and actually um, getting a lot more distance with it. So it's a lot better, in my opinion. Um, other than that, a lot of the custom work I had done by Cobra here. Um, I can't not stop saying how great of a gun this is. You know, it's. Uh, phenomenal gun, you know, I beat this thing to heck, you know, he's yes, witnessed yeah. it, he's witnessed it, he's actually witnessed me roll down a hill and figured a way to recover from it and still get two kills when I get up from it, so like I said, um, it's, it, was. it was quite funny. And he's not a small guy like that. No, no, so. no I'm 6'3", I'm so there is, you know, I, I don't hide very well, to be honest with you, I'm a very, very big player when it comes to airsoft, um, so just get behind him. Yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what they, they do. I actually have a M249 that I'm actually going to be HPAing, and that's going to be custom work by my buddy Cobra here. So that thing's going to be a lot of fun. And stay fun. tuned because hopefully we will be mounting that onto something very special. Oh, oh yes. yes, that's going to be a yes. lot of fun. Um, that'll be something you all are going to want to see. And we'll that. be there every step of the way we are. So let me turn it over for, first of all, and give me a shout, a shout out to my boy Sexton for the paint job. Ah, uh, thank you. Finally, he gets to talk. I know, right? Hey, look. <laughs> I'm He's that guy. He's that guy. Yeah, he did this all like by hand. Let me do a shout out. He did this all by hand, you know, no stencil. You know, he's phenomenal. You know, any of the custom paint work I want to do, I pretty much go to him. Yeah. Each side took me every bit of about three hours, and I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Which you want. Yeah. Man, a few words over here. I mean, it just, oh. it just, it, to my opinion, it gives it that extra flair. You know, everybody that I has seen that grenade launcher has pretty much loved it and pretty much, um, I mean, I'm more than happy with it. Um, I can touch this up a little bit too. Yeah, probably. Like I said, I rolled down a hill with it. Too. At least you know he uses it and it's not a hey, showpiece. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, you also I mean, know that. it's a pretty good paint job because, like I said, I rolled down a hill with that and it's still intact. So that doesn't say anything about the KWA SR10, then I don't. Like I said, Again. I'm I'm a big boy. I'm six three, so and I probably rolled on top of that gun when I went down the hill. So it, it stays did. together. Yeah, yeah, he witnessed it. It, it stays yeah. together. You like did one of these numbers? Oh god. So another thing, Barrel you know, roll. you know, yeah. you're an airsoft player 
when you actually take a fall and the first thing up in your air, you know, you are completely don't care about anything else. You but hold I'm your gun up, <laughs> and the rest of your body can take the most damage possible. And the first thing you get up, you know, you could be scratched up, bruised up. The first thing you get up and go is, all right, okay. we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, so like I said, um, big shout out to Sex Fiend. You know, he's a great artist. You know, um, he actually will be doing the paint job on that UMP. He's gonna be doing a custom one for that. It's actually gonna be a tribute piece, so uh, stay tuned for that. That'll be really cool. Um, so let me turn it over to my tech guy, Cobra, and tell you if he can do a little more than me. KWA. <laughs> Where to start? <laughs> it has, it has it's just, a just, heavy... just to, con just sorry to interrupt, but he is like me, KWA, diehard fan. You're gonna spend the money, but you are gonna get every bit of that money's worth out of it. Um, solid construction, <clears throat> FPS is always fantastic, range is fantastic. They do have, um, do, 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 they do, do have do. something, okay? They got a lot of something. Anyways, uh, oh, really? when you first get them, <laughs> something, something. basically, you've had a lot of people griping about, well, my gun shoots 30 feet, and then it's just all over the place. You got to take your bucking out, clean it. You'll Every be so good after that, if um, not replace it, because it can. Um, another problem I had, you know, um, like I said, I've been playing for ten years, and I actually got out of sport for about probably a year and a half. Um, and I had, I had actually a KW way. I kid you not, the reason I love him so much, I had that gun for probably every bit of nine years, and that okay. thing actually just died last year. Yes. Actually, just died last year. Um, that one. Be, yeah, before, um, before I played with it, he actually opened it up and looked at the bucking. Word of note, they actually can, if you leave a gun sitting for a long period of time, not in a sealed case or anything like that, they actually can dry and crack. And that can mess up your gun. But that's that's way down for it. Yeah. Um, they, Just are, for thought. they are very nice. One gripe I have is they use Allen's for their body pins. They will strip eventually. <clears throat> if you want to replace them, Cool. If not, just make sure you have several different sizes because you're <laughs> going to need every bit of a different size. Solid, no wobbles. Um, they do have a fuse in the back. I don't know if we kept yours in there. I think we did. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There you go. And they have it in there. Screw down. You're good to go. When I had my SR10, I took it out because I wanted more room. For my 11 one, uh, that's actually what KWA recommends. Recommends mm -hmm. and, and it is not fantastic. The not many companies without a MOSFET will tell you go ahead throw 11 one. The firing on, on it is phenomenal with 11 one one. You do have your sling mount on both sides, right where the buff tube is. To Personally, buy. one point sling. Not a big fan of two point. Again, these are just our opinions, so don't don't get butt hurt over them. Um, I love him. Tank loves him. I'm a good fan. He's a good fan. G36. We'll get him there. KWA. We'll get him there. That, you know, we'll be, we will, we will, be, we will be doing that video. He will be doing the video reviewing. He's G36. But uh, We'll again, try to get that next week. Yeah, he uh, he blamed me for that. But, uh, right. you know. So that, in the truck hey, hey, I got hey that's his opinion. You know, opinions are like butts. Everybody's got them, and they and all stink. I'm, I'm still stuck with Taco Bell over here next hey, one. So, so we're, we're all right. We're all right. <laughs> so other than that, um, thank you all for watching again. Um, another episode to, coming at you from Founding Fathers Airsoft Channels. Coming at you again is Tank. Cobra. Thanks, man. Go ahead. Not to cut you off. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and stay frosty. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. Stay frosty. Do what you got to do. Stay frosty.